In this video, we'll look at whether ammonium bromide, NH4Br, is ionic or covalent. So when you look at it, you see you have nitrogen here, that's a nonmetal. Hydrogen over here, that's also a nonmetal. And then bromine, that's a nonmetal as well. So we have three nonmetals bonded together. So you would think when you have nonmetals bonded together, you end up with a covalent, also called a molecular bond. But in this case, NH4Br, that's an exception. And to understand the exception, we have to understand the ammonium ion, NH4+. So NH4 right here, this is a polyatomic ion. And the whole ion has a positive charge. That's on the whole thing. A little plus out here, one plus. NH4 stays together. The nitrogen and the hydrogen atoms, they're pretty tightly bonded. So if I were to put this in water, it would dissolve and dissociate. We have NH4 plus and bromine that forms one minus ions. So in water, we'd have the NH4 plus ion. And then separate from that, we'd have the bromide ion, Br minus. This is an ionic compound because we have a positive charged ion and a negatively charged ion. So to recognize this, you really have to recognize that NH4 plus is the ammonium ion. So this is really one to memorize. We should talk about the bonds between the nitrogen and the hydrogen atoms within the ammonium ion. So nitrogen, that's a nonmetal. Hydrogen, that's a nonmetal as well. So the bonds between the nitrogen and the hydrogen within this ammonium ion, this NH4 plus, these bonds are going to be covalent. That's also called molecular. So we really have both types of bonds. We have our covalent bonding between the nitrogen and the hydrogens. And then between the ammonium ion and the bromide ion, we have our ionic bond. So overall, it's an ionic compound and contains covalent bonds with the NH4. This is Dr. B answering the question whether ammonium bromide is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.